Yoga Club. Hello, my yoga club friends. I can feel it coming. Spring is nearly here and there are signs of life. The daffodils are coming. The lambs are being born and the birds are starting to sing more. Let's ride on this wave of spring with a cheerful sprinkling of flowery fun yoga. Before we do, first some marvellous messages from you. Thanks to Lucia, age seven, for the wonderful story idea. Great names for the characters too. Dogs called Foo Foo and Buddy. Brilliant. Hello to your brother Rafa, who is four too. Thanks Mary for writing about your daughter, who loves the Rescue Zoo books. That sounds like a wonderful idea for a story. I'll see if I can get hold of a copy. Hello to Sam, who is six and lives in Chicago. Sam does yoga with his sister Hannah, who is three, and suggests a Thomas the Tank Engine yoga, which would be fun. Hello to Rosie, who is keen on a Martha Speaks yoga video. I will have a look at that and find out more about it. Thanks to Mum Heather for writing on Rosie's behalf. Hello to Beryl and Carnelian, you clever girls for completing your yoga quests. It was wonderful to see the picture of your very cool certificate. Hello to Charlie, who is nearly six and requests a Lego City or a Lego Ninjago episode. I'm keen to do that too. Let's see if I can. Thanks to Stella, age six and a half, who suggests a yoga adventure based on spirit. I love that show, Stella, and, and horses. I'd like to make that happen if I can. It's great that Peace Out has been helping your brain feel nice and calm. And hello to your mum, Amanda, and your sisters, Nora, aged four, and Luna, aged one. Big hello and shout out to Miss Warbank at Wild Green Primary School. Hello in Birmingham. Hello to all of you and especially those in year two who have been so good at practicing their yoga poses and especially enjoying the book themed yoga adventures. It's great, guys, to keep it up at home during lockdown. So you just keep going. Well done. Lovely to hear from Aria, who is nine in Kobe, Japan. Thank you, Aria, for the suggestions. Miraculous Ladybug, Shrek, and another vote for Roblox. I'll do my best to see if those stories can be made into yoga adventures. Happy seventh birthday to Divyata for the 21st of January. I'm so glad you enjoyed your yoga quest and a great idea for My Little Pony. Lots of you are keen for an adventure on My Little Pony. Hello to Kenzie, who is three in Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha, Kenzie. So glad that you enjoy the yoga, especially the Halloween one. And you even decided to be a skeleton for Halloween because you enjoy the skeleton dance so much. It's great that your little sister Lilu is watching too. She'll be joining in before you know it. I'm glad your mum finds it helpful. It sounds like you have energy to burn and the yoga is a great way for you to just channel that energy. Wonderful ideas too. Where the Wild Things Are and Monsters Inc. Fabulous. Thanks to Lulu for the suggestion of a yoga adventure to help us deal with worry. Good idea for a theme, Lulu. I'll see what I can do. Hello to Noah and Rain, who do yoga with their mum and grandma. Rain suggests a yoga adventure with Ali Korn and llamas, and Noah would like a Lego and Transformers episode. Thanks to Jamal in Lebanon, who suggested Among Us, Harry Potter, and a Stranger Things yoga club. I'm loving the mysterious vibe and theme there. Hello to Sarah, West and Coraline in Berkeley, California. Namaste. West, we have a Minions adventure on the Cosmic Kids app and Toy Story would be a great one to do. Coraline, Finding Dory would also work wonderfully. Thank you for your brilliant, brilliant ideas. Hello to Aidan, aged four and Nick, aged two. Thanks for the Ninja Turtles idea. I love the Ninja Turtles too. And Wild Kratz. Yes, you're not alone in wanting a Wild Kratz yoga adventure. Thanks to Emma, aged three, and Emily, who live in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Love the idea of doing a Nutcracker story. That's such a beautiful ballet and would be so wonderful with the Tchaikovsky music too. Lovely Charlie, aged four and a half from Toronto, is keen on a Frozen 2 adventure. Thanks, Charlie. And Luca from Singapore loves doing yoga videos with his mum. 
Luca would like to see a How to Train Your Dragon adventure. Lots of requests for that, Luca. The more, the merrier. Quinn is five from New Zealand, born in London and now living in the Netherlands. <laughs> Quinn is keen on a Ninjago theme for a new adventure. He is especially enjoying the yoga now his school is closed. Well, I hope that it's going to help keep you going and keep you strong and feeling good, Quinn. I loved your picture too, doing a very twisty eagle pose. Keep your wonderful emails coming, everyone, to yoga club at cosmickids.com and get your yoga quest on by downloading your free map pack. You'll love it. So many of you have done it already and I love seeing your pictures with the certificates. Ooh, now something tells me there's a little bunny ready to come out and play. Ooh, let's enjoy the dawning of our spring season with this week's yoga club. Ooh. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. All you've got to do is copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's look through the cosminoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> oh, look at that! Those colours! Those shapes! Oh, spinning around and around. Can you see it? Yes, it's a rabbit! It's Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. Hello, Peter Cottontail. Oh, what's Peter doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing butterfly pose. This is very exciting. We're going to see Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. And with Easter coming very, very soon, he's going to be very busy at the moment, so maybe we can help him. Let's get ready for our adventure by bringing out the sunshine. We stand up, we reach our arms to the sky and we say, hello sun, ready? Hello sun. Then we fold all the way forwards and we say hello to the daffodils. Hello daffodils. We step one leg all the way back behind us and we drop down to our back knee. Then we lift ourselves up. Try not to wobble. We wrap our arms around and we go cheep, 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 like little yellow chicks. Very good. We bring our hands all the way down and we step our other leg back, coming down onto our bellies. Then we wiggle, 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 wiggle up like a very hungry caterpillar. We tuck our toes, lift our hips up to the sky and we wiggle waggle our little bunny tails. Then we step our other leg forward and we drop down to our back knee again. We come on up trying not to wobble. We wrap our arms and we go cheep, 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 like a little yellow chick again. We take our hands down to our front foot and we step all the way forwards again to say hello to the daffodils. Hello daffodils! Then we reach up to the springtime sun and we say hello sun. Now coming down to our knees we roll our shoulders around and around. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two, we put down one, we put down two, we go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Very good, everyone. Now we roll our head around in a big circle one way and a big circle the other way, getting our necks all nice and ready. We sit back on our bottoms, bring our hands behind us to help us balance. We lift up one foot and we go round and round in a circle with our ankle. Ooh. 
Can we do the other one as well? We can. Now here's a challenge. Can we do one hand as well? You can. What about the other one? All four. Well done, everyone. That's brilliant. Now crossing our legs. Before we go, let's have some good breakfast. Let's have some porridge. We reach up high for the pot and we fold all the way forwards, keeping our bottoms on the ground to put our pot in front of us. Then we come up and sit up tall. We bring one hand across to our opposite knee and we twist behind us to get our porridge oats. Here we go. We shake them into the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Then we take our other hand across to our opposite knee and we twist the other way round to get our water. Here it is. We bring it to the front and we pour it in. Lovely. Now for the stirring. We take our legs out nice and wide and we take hold of one of our stirring spoons and we stir it up. Very nice. Oh, it's getting thicker. Let's try with the other one now. Take that spoon down and lift up the other one. Stirring it up. Very good. It's ready. Putting your foot all the way down, we cross our legs, fold forwards, and we eat up all of our porridge. Um, 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 um. Mm, it's delicious. We rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Very good, everybody. Now it's time to go and meet Peter Cottontail. Let's go out the door. Coming to two knees, Take your leg to the side and your arm up to the sky and we go Ooh, to open up the door. Now we need to go through the gate, bringing your knees back together again. Take your leg to the other side, your arm up to the sky and open up the gate. Ooh, now we need to tiptoe down to the bottom of the garden so we don't scare Peter Cottontail. Shh, shh. waiting for us. It's Peter Cottontail. Come down to your knees and crisscross your fingers behind your back. As you fold on forwards, lift your arms up above your head like two lovely bunny ears. Peter Cottontail is so excited to see us, he does a couple of bunny hops. Coming all the way up, put your hands down in front of you and tuck your toes. Lift up your bunny tail and go hoppity hoppity hop. And again, hoppity hoppity hop. Wow, we're going to go and help Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny, collect lots and lots of Easter eggs for everyone at Easter. Let's grab a basket. Coming down onto your tummies, we bring our feet towards our bottom and we reach around, grabbing our ankles. Then we lift ourselves up, smelling the flowers. Lovely. Now, time to get on our bicycles. We lower our legs and come back up to sit and take ourselves all the way down onto our backs. We crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads and lift up our legs. And we start to use our feet to do the pedals. We're going to have to collect lots and lots of eggs so that Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny, has plenty for everyone. Look, we've arrived in the woods. Coming up to stand, we need to see where to go first to go and collect some eggs. So let's climb a tree. Here we go. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, is this high enough? Let's see. Bringing one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up nice and tall. Oh, now hang on a minute. Are you a strong tree today? Do you think I can blow you down? Mm, I think I can. Let me try. You stay tall and strong. I'll have a go. Here I come. Doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. <gasps> I don't believe it. You're still standing up. You are super duper strong. Let's climb a bit higher and see how we do up there. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Let's try our tree on the other side now, bringing your other foot on top your hands together and grow up nice and tall. Oh, try not to wobble. Now I wonder if you can make your fingers into binoculars, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. 
Ooh, look, trying not to wobble. We're very high up here. Look, down there. It's Tommy, the bedtime turtle. Maybe he'll have some Easter eggs for Peter Cottontail, the Easter bunny. Let's jump down and ask politely. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Peter Cottontail asks very nicely. Oh, hello, Tommy. Please may we have some Easter eggs for Easter? Coming into our turtle position, we sit on our bottoms and bring our feet in front of us, bending our knees. We bring our hands down in between our legs and shuffle them underneath our legs, making a pair of turtle flippers. Tommy lifts his head out of his shell and gives us a great big smile. Hey, hey there. It's so good to see you. And seeing as you asked me so nicely and you said please, of course you can have some eggs for Easter. But I'm afraid I only have one. I seem to have lost all of the others. I don't know where they've gone. We come up to sit and cross our legs. Hmm, that is funny. Where on earth could the other Easter eggs be? We say namaste to thank Tommy. One, two, three. Three. Namaste. We come to a lake where there's a little boat waiting for us. Coming to sit round, lift up one leg, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Yay! Give me a wave. We're in our boat pose and with Peter Cottontail we row. Take your legs out long, take hold of an oar, and let's sing our row, row, row your boat song. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. Is that, that's his telephone. Shall we answer it? Okay, yeah. Hello. Oh, it's Belinda the hen. Hi, Belinda. What? All of the Easter eggs are gone? But, 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 but where? Oh, OK, Belinda, speak to you soon. Bye. We put the phone down. Where could they have gone? We need to keep rowing, so we pick up the other oar. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone again. Let's answer it. Hello. Oh, it's Belinda again. Hi, Belinda. Oh, we've got to speak to Colonel Crockles, the crocodile. OK, right. Thank you, Belinda. Bye. We put the phone down and we come face to face with a crocodile. This must be Colonel Crockles, the crocodile. Lying on your side, take your arms up long above your head and open and close your jaws like you're a snappy crocodile. And let's see if we can swish our tail as well. Oh, very good, everyone. I tell you, everyone, it's those tricksy, tickly monkeys. They've gone and stolen all the eggs and they're hiding them in the back of their cave. They simply don't want to share them with anyone. <gasps> Coming up to sit, we cross our legs. Oh, no! This is awful! If those tickly monkeys have stolen all the eggs, then there won't be any left for everyone at Easter. What are we going to do? We know what to do. We're going to take some deep breaths. We're going to calm our minds down and we're going to have an idea. Ready? We've got it. We've hatched a plan to save the eggs. Let's all pretend to be eggs. Then, when the tickly monkeys come, they'll think that we're eggs and they'll come and pick us up and add us to their collection. Then we can wait until they've gone to sleep and we can collect all the eggs and take them out. We can rescue them. This is a brilliant idea. Colonel Crockles agrees. Lying down on your other side now, stretch your arm up above your head and open your snappy jaws. And let's do some tail swishing on the other side too. Perfecto mundo, cosmic kiddos. Mm, thanks, Colonel Crockles. We sit on up and we get ready to go to the cave where the tickly monkeys are living with all of the eggs. 
On the way, we hear an owl twit to wooing to warn us. Coming to your knees, draw your hands down in between. We lift up as we go to it and lower as we go to and again to it to be careful there are tickly monkeys in there who like to tickle you we say namaste to the owl to thank her one two three namaste and we get ready to look like little, little eggs. Coming to your knees, we're going to be like little eggs that have fallen over in the grass, folding yourself all the way forwards. We wait for the tickly monkeys to come and find us. <gasps> Here they are, bringing your hands up, wiggle your fingers and pitter-patter on your backs. <gasps> The tickly monkeys are taking us and they're putting us in their cave with the other eggs, keeping very, very still. After a while, we hear a noise. It's the tickly monkeys. They've gone to sleep. Quick, get your basket. Coming onto your belly. Bring your feet to your bottom. Reach around and lift yourself up into your basket pose. Now we collect all of the eggs and we get them out of the cave. Come on, everyone. Standing up. Up we come. We tiptoe, tiptoe. Shh. Very quietly out of the cave. <gasps> What's that? Oh. <sighs> It's all right. It's just a little spod, the spider. Bending your knees and bringing your fingers in between your feet, we go ticka, 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 ticka to the outside. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> we carry on tiptoeing out of the cave, coming up to stand. Tiptoe. Shh. Shh. What's that? Oh, it's okay. It's just a little Cecil, the slithery snake. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Hands under your shoulders and... Sorry about that. Didn't mean to disturb you. If we carry on tiptoeing out of the cave, up we come. Shh. 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 What's that? Oh, it's OK. It's just a little Meldrum, the mouse, coming down onto your knees and tuck yourself up into a tiny little mouse ball. Squeak, 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 squeak. We carry on tiptoeing. We're so nearly there. Up we come. Shh, 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 shh. And we've done it. Yay. We wipe our brows. Phew. But what's that? We can hear. Rubbing our ears. It's the tickly monkeys. They've woken up and they're jumping into action. Crouching down on your toes, everybody. We're going to do a big monkey jump into the air. After three. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. Quick, we need to hide. Jump down the rabbit hole. Turning yourself around, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottoms up to the sky. This is a special rabbit hole, a rabbit warren. In we go on our bellies, slithering like snakes. Ooh, we're wiggling inside. And we hide like little mice, tucking all the way back with our arms and our head down. Shh. The tickly monkeys go running past and we sit up and we say, phew, that is a relief. Peter Cottontail, who is the Easter bunny, remember, is actually quite magical and he crosses his legs. He takes one of the Easter eggs and he turns it upside down and when it's this shape, it looks a bit like a balloon. 
and he says some magic words. With Easter coming so very soon, let's turn this egg into a hot egg balloon. And it works! Let's blow it up, everyone. Bring your hands around your mouth and do a big blow. We're floating up into the sky above the woods, away from the tickly monkeys, and we're heading back towards our garden with Peter Cottontail and all of the Easter eggs. We say our rhyme, tick, tock, like a clock, until I find my centre. We found our centre, and we found ourselves back at home. Oh, we feel so exhausted, and so does Peter Cottontail. So we very quietly and very gently all get into our beds, with Peter Cottontail snuggling up. He lies on our bellies, and we gently stroke his lovely fur. He feels so soft. We watch as his little eyes begin to close and his nose and his whiskers start to twitch as he is beginning to dream. Oh, it's so good what we've done today. We feel really proud of ourselves, helping Peter Cottontail rescue all of those Easter eggs from the tickly monkeys who just didn't want to share them. They were being very greedy wanting to keep the eggs all for themselves so that everyone else would miss out. This is why it's so good for us to share and why it's so good that we rescued the eggs. And we always know to say our pleases and our thank yous as well. Then everyone is happy and we know we've been good, good people. We breathe calmly and quietly here and enjoy our rest with our friend Peter Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. And then it is time for us to start to awake. We wiggle our toes. We wiggle our fingers. And we bring our knees up to our chest and give them a nice big hug. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sit with our legs crossed. And we bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. You were very brave helping Peter Cottontail rescue those eggs. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Today we get warm and ready for anything with a hello to the sun. Come to stand with your feet hip distance apart. Then reach up to the sun, wave at the sky and say, hello sun, hello sun. Then we turn to the side and we fold all the way forwards, bending our knees a little bit as we go so that we can touch the floor and say hello to the earth. Hello earth. Then we step one foot all the way back behind us coming up high on our fingertips like tents and we start our engines with a beep beep yes we flatten our hands down and step our other foot back coming into our plank pose with a nice strong tummy then we lower all the way down to our knees and all the way down onto our chest untucking our toes we curl our shoulders round 
peel our chest off the ground and we hiss like hissy snakes. Then we tuck our toes, come up onto our knees and press our hips up to the sky, coming down onto our heels, pressing into our hands to woof like happy little dogs. Woof, 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 woof. We lift up one of our legs behind us and we wag it like a happy tail. Then we put it between our hands again, coming up high onto our tippy tippy tip fingers. Then we say beep, beep, yay. We step our other foot forwards, bringing our feet together and we wave at the earth saying, hello earth. We stretch on up to the sky to say hello to the sun. Hello sun, lowering our arms back to the side. Now, let's do that on the other side. Reach on up to the sun and say hello to the sun. Hello sun. Turn to the side, fold all the way forwards, bending our knees to say hello to the earth. Hello, earth. This time we step back with the other leg, staying high up on our fingers and we say beep, beep, yay. We flatten our hands down, step our other leg back and come high into our plank pose, nice and strong, like the top of a push-up. Lowering down onto your knees, lower your chest all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes, curl your shoulders back and lift your chest. And we hiss like a snake. We curl our toes under again, press up onto our knees and then press our hips up into the sky. Lowering our heels down if we can as well to woof like a happy dog. We lift our other leg up to the sky and wag it like a tail. Then we put it between our hands, coming high up onto our fingertips again. And we start our engines with a beep, beep. Well done. We step our other foot forward, bring our feet together and we wave to the earth. Hello, earth. Then we stretch on up to the sky, turning to the front to wave at the sun and say, Hello, sun. We lower our arms back to our sides and we stand, feeling warm and ready for anything. Have a great day. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Shark pose. Coming to lie on our tummies, we crisscross our fingers behind our backs and lift up our arms like we're lifting up our shark's fin and gliding through the water, going do 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 do, lolling from side to side. Now, shark pose is really, really good for opening our chest and stretching the whole of our shoulders. It's also very good for strengthening our backs. Oh, afternoon, Mr. Shark. Lovely water, isn't it? Keep lolling, everyone. Lolling, 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 lolling. Shark pose. <laughs> Peace out. Flower power. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. First, let's get into position. Find a space on the floor and curl up into a little ball, like a little seed. You're going to be moving a little bit in this Peace Out. As I talk through the words in a moment, see if you can follow by stretching yourself up as far as you can reach, like you are the flower growing. Then you'll be curling back up again into your little seed shape. Before we start, 
while you're in your seed shape. Take a moment to get comfy so you can be a very still and quiet little seed. Shh. Once you're comfy and you've done any last minute wriggles or fidgets, take a deep breath in. Then out. And again, in. And out. Carry on with your breathing, seeing if you can feel the breath coming in and going out. Next time, as you breathe out, if you haven't already, let your eyes softly close. Now see if you can follow along. Imagine you are a very little seed, all curled up, waiting to grow. You're planted in the soft brown earth and feel very snug and warm in here. It's especially cosy right now as it's raining and you can hear the pitter-patter of the rain on the earth above you. Slowly, the rain clears and you feel the warmth of the sun shining down on the earth above you. It feels so toasty. You can feel the sunlight inviting you to stretch up and enjoy its warmth. So, you begin to grow. So very, very slowly, inch by inch, bit by bit. Now you are a little green shoot. You've popped up through the earth and the sun is making you feel stronger by the second. You keep on growing. Grow, grow, grow up even further. So your leaves begin to open all the way out, all the way down your long stem. The sun is still beaming down on you, filling you with a shiny, smiley sunshine feeling. You open out into a flower with big yellow petals, a beautiful yellow flower. Even more, you stretch up as if you're trying to reach the sun. Feeling its power warm your petals, your leaves, your stem. Slowly, the sun begins to lower in the sky. The day is nearly over. The freshness of the evening draws in and you begin to roll and curl up. Slowly, slowly, so very slowly. Back into your little ball shape. Just like a tiny seed again. What a magic feeling it is to grow in the sun, just like a flower. Slowly now we start to come back. Deepening your breath. Starting to move your fingers and toes. Slowly Gently opening your eyes. Before you move, just take a moment to notice how you feel now. Different to how you felt before your peace out? Well done you for imagining being a flower and enjoying all that warmth and strength from the sun to make you grow. I hope you enjoyed it. Well done. This is Jamie saying peace out.